cuties, it's Kaylee and welcome back. Today we will be doing a makeup tutorial for disabled women. This will be video number 3 and it's been about a year since I last did a makeup tutorial. So I'm really excited and I think I've improved my makeup skills because uh, I was watching my older uh, videos, the first two makeup tutorials for disabled women that I did. I was watching those and I thought, what, what was I thinking? And I think um, I will be showing you the new skills that I've learned. Uh, but this is not going to be something elaborate or anything. It's just going to, uh, I'm going to show you how I do my regular everyday makeup. Uh, I'm going to add just a few things that I usually don't add so you can see. Uh, but I'm just going to be how I wear it naturally every day. So uh, don't expect something elaborate because I don't know super elaborate stuff. So. This is just everyday makeup wear. So, I hope you kitties are excited as I am. Alright, let's get started. Alright kitties, so here we are. Here's the liquid foundation brush that I use. I like it because it's thick at the bottom so it makes it easier for me to grab. But I don't like it because it's kind of short for me. And I suggest if you like to do your makeup or most of your makeup by yourself, I suggest you get tall brushes. I have tall brushes for all the other things that I do. But for some reason, I have a short one for liquid foundation and i guess because i usually have somebody help me bring my hand up it's a lot easier but anyways oh god let me grab this oh oh god oh let me squint a little bit okay i'm squinting anyways this makeup foundation is from maybelline it's called fit me and it's 310 sun beige and i like it because it fits my face i also like it because it's not cakey on your face it feels natural it's light and it's just it just feels good on your face oh yeah yeah, it does. All right, cuties. So, let me put it on a few seconds. I'm going to make... Oh, God. Look at that face. I just make an ugly face, cuties. All right. Let me put it on in a few seconds. Let me just get set up right here. All right, cuties. So, now that I have the liquid foundation and the liquid foundation brush, I can now show you how I put the liquid foundation onto the brush. And that's another reason why I like this foundation. is because it does have the squirty thing that makes it come out. Oh, shit. That's a sexual innuendo. Oh, boo 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 boo! Sexually do I know? Boo 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 boo! But in the mosquitoes, yes, that's why I like this foundation. It's because I, I can just dump it onto the foundation brush without having to press a button, which pressing buttons is kind of difficult for me to do. But, anyways, I apologize for all the weird faces that I'm making. Now that the liquid foundation is on the liquid foundation brush, you are finally ready to put it on your face. So what you want to do cuties, oh you cuties like how I raise my eyebrows for you, it doesn't like look adorable. But what you want to do cuties is if you can use your hands and you can still move your head a little bit, then use your head to move the brush around your face. Kind of like when you pet a cat and once you start petting them and they start purring, they begin to rub their faces against your face. So what you want to do is you want to do that. Pretend you're a cat and uh, the little foundation brush being the person petting you. And you just be a good little kitty, like I am being a good little kitty. But anyways, kitty, so what you want to do is you want to repeat this for a while, for until you you feel comfortable that you put enough on your face. I'm going to speed the rest of the video up a little bit until I'm finished putting the foundation. Then I'll, I'll see you kitties in a little bit and I'll talk to you. Alright, kitties, see you one second. I'm just going to speed this up so you kitties can see it, but it won't take long. Alright, let's go.
now oh kitties give me one second i'm trying to scoot back a little oh lord my head is too heavy for my body oh okay we got it anyways kitties now that we finished with the liquid foundation we can finally move to the powder foundation and yes i understand that the brush that i'm holding is not my liquid foundation brush it's my powder brush and i apologize because the foundation brush that i was using before is too short for me so i decided to use this tall one because it just makes it easier all right now that we did that i'm going to show you this powder brush this is from l'oreal paris it's called true match mineral and the reason that i like it because it fits my skin it's beige again sun beige like the other one and it's also spf 19 so it's sunscreen i don't know if that's strong spf or soft spf i don't even know if that makes sense please and i apologize but anyway so what we're gonna do to put it on is we're gonna put it on like we did with the liquid foundation we're just gonna pretend that we are an adorable little kitty like i'm being right now an adorable little kitty and we're just gonna use our face to brush around with the brush on our face i don't even know what i'm saying kitties but that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna do that and do it until we feel that it's comfortable enough that it looks okay so look we're gonna do it like that all right kitties so i'm gonna repeat this for a while so i'm gonna speed it up so it won't be long for you kitties all right kitties here we go You know, the cuties, we can finally move on to the mascara. This mascara that I'm holding is my favorite mascara that I have used so far. It's called Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara, made in Italy. And I thought that was so cool. The reason that I like this mascara is because it is meant for long and thick eyelashes. And I have long and thick eyelashes. I also like it. I don't even know why I made that face a few seconds ago. Another reason why I like it is because the design is just so cute. It just looks so adorable. Because it's supposed to look like a boot or a corset or corset. I don't even know how you pronounce it. I also like it because as you can see, the little handle and brush are pretty long. And I just realized that I just got a huge clump of mascara on my eye, on the corner of my eye. I think I might keep it because it doesn't look bad. It looks like a mole. As you can see, cuties, I have a mole at the corner of my mouth. So it wouldn't be weird if I just leave the clump there. But I might because it just it's not that noticeable. And I really don't have a technique to do this. I just pretty much just bob my head up and down. <laughs> don't take that out of context, please. Don't take it out of context. Um, and then after we do the mascara for my eyelashes... We're gonna use that same mascara to brush over my eyebrows because I usually like to do that so my eyebrows look a bit dark. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, cuties. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up like I did with the last few things that I've done and uh, so it won't take forever so you cuties don't have to see me just put mascara on for a long period of time. Alright, let's do this! Eyeshadow time, cuties. All right, let me bring the palette up a little. Oh, I gotta bring it up a little. Oh, yeah, 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 I gotta bring it. Oh, yeah. okay, I got it. So this palette is called CZHL 12 Color Eyeshadow that I got from Wish for like ten dollars. Well, they're usually almost twenty to twenty-five dollars on Amazon, I think. So I thought this is a bargain. I gotta get it. And it also has the colors that I like to wear. For example, let me point with my middle finger this one right here, this uh bronze one. Uh, I'm gonna wear it because. I have hazel brown eyes and it's gonna make it all thumbs up oh yeah yeah since i have hazel brown eyes it's gonna make him pop out a little bit 
Also, the color kind of matches my skin color a little bit, although it's a little darker than my skin color, but it'll make it seem like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but at the same time, you kind of have to look closely to decide if it's natural or not. In this brush that I'm holding on my hand right now, this eyeshadow brush, as you can tell, kind of looks like the style is kind of the same as the powder brush that I use, except it's kind of thin and tall. But I got it from Amazon about a year ago for like $15, and I love them because they're tall. And like I said before, if you want to do your makeup by yourself, if you can't bend your hand up a little bit, and you need help, uh, and if you want to try to do it yourself, I suggest you get brushes that are pretty tall, uh, like these ones. I'm going to put these ones in the description up below so you can at least check them out and try to get them yourself so you can try and do your makeup yourself because independence is awesome. And as you can see, I really don't have a specific technique to do the eyeshadow. I pretty much just do it like the other one, kind of just move my head around. Kind of like if the, br if the brush was somebody petting me and I was like a little kitty cat. And I was just like brush my head side to side. Kind of like, you know, you just gotta be a good little kitty like me. I'm being like a cute little adorable kitty if I just move my head around. And uh, it's pretty much like I did with the uh, liquid foundation and the powder foundation. Alright kitties, I'm just gonna move on from this. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you kitties don't have to watch me take forever to do my eyeshadow. Alright kitties. Let's go! Yay, cuties! We finally got to my favorite part. The blush. Doing my blush. I always love doing my blush for some reason. And the blush color that I'm going to do is this little pink one down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you like it. Oh, yeah. Winky, winky. Oh, yeah. Uh, the reason I like to wear that one is because, as you can tell, my skin color is not too dark, but it's also not too light either like in between so like a little pink color kind of light makes it look a little like a natural blush a little bit which is better than what i used to do before as you can tell kids from my other videos how much blush i used to put on now it's just a little bit that looks so nice and adorable and it's not too pink it's not too red it's just it's just right and uh that palette i got from ebay i don't remember what it's called because I, for some reason, it doesn't have the logo or anything on the front. And I didn't want to go through my eBay orders because it was from a long time ago. And uh, this brush that I got, this is my favorite brush ever. I just like it because, one, it's pink. It's a Luxie 504. It's angled, as you can tell, which is cool. I don't really know exactly what angle does, what the, the difference with angled and just a regular one. Uh, but it's just cute. I just like it. It's kind of long. It, it was only like five or ten dollars on eBay as well, and it was just pretty cheap for what for what it is. It's it's pretty cheap, and um, as you can tell, the usual technique to do my cheeks, as I have done with the eyes and the liquid foundation and the powder foundation, me just being a cute, adorable little kitty. All right, um, I'm just gonna speed this up, kitties, because it isn't that different from all the other things. Um, so yeah, I will see you in a few seconds. Oh my god cuties we finally made it to the last step of the makeup tutorial and i'm super duper duper excited i hope you kids are super duper 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 excited the last step that i usually like to do whenever i finish with my makeup i like to put lipstick lip balm or anything else that goes on your lips like for example a penis oh shit <laughs> sexual <light> up. <laughs> okay that all right kids enough enough silliness uh, this lip balm is called NYK Butter Lip Balm. It's from NYK. 
And the reason that I love it is because one, it tastes delicious. It tastes like fucking delicious strawberries. And fucking strawberries are freakity freakity delicious. Mm -hmm. And another reason why I like it is because of the color. It's red and I just love it because it moisturizes my lips. It tastes delicious. It looks amazing. And yeah, bam, cuties. I hope you cuties enjoy the video. Uh, this was awesome. I would really love doing these kinds of videos. More makeup stories in the future. Oh, look how adorable I look. Oh, bye, cuties. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Look, just check me out, cuties. Oh, yeah. Bye. Alright, cuties. Here's the end result. Hope you liked it. I think I did an alright job. Sorry, there are people outside working on stuff. So I'm sorry to hear uh, people talking or whatever outside. But, anyways, I hope you cuties enjoyed. Uh, this is the natural look. I guess I could have done better. I think I did alright uh, because I usually have somebody help me bring my hands up to do it for me. Uh, but I wanted to try to do it by myself still. And I still can do it. So I really do hope you could have enjoyed. And I apologize if it's not what you were looking for. Uh, if you were looking for something very specific or something elaborate, I apologize. I'm not that good at makeup stuff. I'm not that good at elaborate or like trying different things but I do try sometimes to try different things like that new foundation that I found that that was a new and I like it I love it but also curious I apologize if you can see these bumps on my chest some mosquitoes some fucking mosquitoes have been biting me I don't know where they're coming from I don't even know what it is but they've been biting me everywhere and I quit cream so if I look kind of greasy on my chest look at my boobies look at these boobies no, my boobies are tiny I have tiny boobies but um but I have all of these bites and they're gross because it just itches everywhere. So I apologize if it looks gross, but it does I don't think it looks gross. It looks kind of bruised up and they look like hickeys, but they're not hickeys, I swear. Maybe one or get it, I'm just joking. But uh, what was I saying, cuties? Yes, so I'll do, uh, I'll do all, all that other stuff. I would love you for it, cuties. And we're growing the channel. I want the channel to grow even more. That's my goal with you, cuties. I hope we get that done. And, um, but anyways, cuties, thank you for watching. And as always, stay hot, sexy, pretty, hot, handsome, beautiful, all the other stuff. <laughs> Remember to always be yourself. Don't let others say who the thing you should be. If they do it, you just tell them, I'm gonna be myself. So you be quiet, bro, Seth. Bro, Seth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddies. Anyways, kiddies, you're all amazing and I love you. Bye!